to Governor Sheyi Makinde of Oyo State cast his vote at Ward 11, Unit 01, Abayomi Iwo Road in Ibadan North East Local Council. Makinde, who is seeking a second term, had earlier been verified and accredited with the Beavers machine. Speaking briefly with John Lees, the governor appreciated the people for your state for coming out, asking others to also troop out in mass to exercise their civic rights. He also described the voting process as peaceful, commending the security agencies for doing a good job. I think everything is going on okay. Uh, people have uh, voted the, uh, uh, the INEC officials. They came uh, quite uh, early, and uh, the process uh, uh, is going okay. Well, I heard uh, the uh, turnout is not uh, as uh, uh, high as expected, but now we are appealing to people, you know, to come out. They were thinking there will be security challenges. Well, you can see the people. I don't uh, have to even think twice. Uh, they want omitted to 2.0 in the world. Meanwhile, the governorship candidate of All Progressive Congress, APC, in your state, Senator Teslim Folari, also cast his vote. Folari, a three-term senator, voted at Ward 5, polling Unit 2, St. John Anglican School, Idioshe, in Onara, local government area in Ibadan. The chairman, Senate Committee on Local Content, is contesting against the likes of engineer Shea Makinde of the People's Democratic Party, a court candidate, Chief Adebayo Adelabu, among others. Security agencies have been doing a fantastic job. They are overstretched. Uh, they are overstretched because they, those boys appear to be very organised. They know what they're doing. Uh, we're hearing, we're hearing reports that they want to. The whole idea is when they start collating, then there's going to be a lot of uh, ballot snatching and all that stuff. I think the process is. Um very prompt today, but um, looking at what I'm saying here, the turnout is very low compared to what we had um, two weeks ago, and this is quite disappointing. I don't know why, but the turnout is very, very low. I guess maybe it could be the violence that happened a few days ago. Maybe people are scared of coming out. My Lord is with me. So I haven't, I, I've done all my preparations, that's all I can do. Uh, the Almighty has already written what will happen to me today, at the end of today, and the future. So I just do my best to prepare and I leave the rest to God. No, I keep going on because again, it's, politics is not a one day mission, it's not a one week thing, it's a lifetime thing. Lifetime of dedication, service. Uh, so I will keep serving my people regardless of the turnout today. I hope it will be in my favour. I think I'm the candidate to beat, but again, we cannot be overconfident. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.